G'day guys, this is a uh, video about the transmission hoses on the Mercedes Benzes across the range uh, for the automatic transmission. Now, I've just made a beautiful video and I forgot to mention the O-rings. Okay, you need to replace the O-rings. What's interesting here, the genuine ones have arrived, they're black. And in the day, green used to mean synthetic resistant, whatever. But the new O-rings are black. Okay. And I thought I had the bag for the um, at, at hand's length, the bag for the o rings. I was going to give you the part number. This is the part number. Okay, they are. $7 each plus tax or something. Uh, okay. Now, <laughs> I had such a good video, honestly, and um, now I'm not in the mindset for it. I was ready to put it in. Now, there's problems with the uh, transmission line installation, but first we'll talk about removal. The transmission lines are quite short, and they're held on here, even if it's a C C CLK compressor, whatever. It's held on there. You, you might need to loosen the bolt there, especially if people have bent anything or if it's been crashed or anything. You'll find that maybe the hoses shrink sometimes. There's a lot of tension on the hoses. You don't want that on installation. Okay. When removing the transmission hoses, once you lift the clip, that they're not going to come off that easily if it's not been touched for years and spray silicon be patient but i do find that removing the clip altogether helps now the way these work is that they, they, these are in a specific position you can now note that position because what happens is that's what happens so now it comes the the point of the video okay i have done this job uh i have I had a C-Class in, it's it's C-Class, it's like trauma. So when you're a mechanic and something happens or a wheel or a leak, you get traumatized, like hopefully you learn your lesson. Now, the car came in with the O-rings leaking. So number one, always have the O-rings ready. Do not attempt without the O-rings, and I'll tell you why. Mercedes-Benz at the time didn't get me the O-rings. I thought I'd get him home, right? and I did my thing and whatever. Now, his, his radiator was leaking, and I do recall now, I think I have made this video. The, the radiator was leaking oil from the washers behind here, but how was I to know what was leaking? <laughs> whatever. Now, I actually did not replace the radiator. I sealed it all up, and I do recall maybe making a video about it. Now, what this video is about is because then he had four liters of transmission oil, uh, in his driveway uh, in an upmarket suburb and all his neighbours and I was there were driving past going buy an Audi get a real car because he has a 2002 CL compressor whatever so and I'm there waving my fists going you wait till your Audi ruins your life it's been a good car so the the you know these are brilliant robust cars we're not comparing it to a Volkswagen but the new ones are, the, are bad but in these days, everything was much better, yet it's all about the plastics here. So this comes away, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Now, before I continue, the oil pulls up here in such a way, uh, these cars can hold litres of oil throughout the warranty period without losing them. Literally, if there's something blocking the little hole over there, I could fill three or four litres of liquid just there, and then you've got the other, the other trace. So now, to the point of the video, what happens is the clip falls just say you're trying to get the hose out they are with the water hoses quite tight these are very fragile rings here you can straighten them up but you're trying to get them out they're not coming out now this piece then falls away right now meanwhile it's all situated vertically in the in the in the vehicle what happens is firstly you could put it on the wrong place okay 
you could put it on the wrong place. Secondly, you put it on, right? It's not seated. Now, they fall away very easily, right? Not when the original hose is there. After you take the hose out, if it's tight, whatever, or during, this falls away. Now, you put it on, right? You're putting it on, you're putting it on, you're putting it on. Now it's on, okay? Falls away. See the groove? Now, what happens is, you put the transmission hose in, you clip it on, and then the whole thing blows off, and maybe not straight away. So, something very simple for the factory has also got built into it a possibility of error. I, I don't know if I've made a video, the BMWs are the same. I've had endless amounts over the years of the BMWs where the top hose blows off the little bottle. It can happen months after you do the job because of a misseating in this area so uh, uh, with this clip system now let's do it again you put it on right and it can feel like it's on right and it's on now when the hose is in there it it has now capacity to derail okay oh can't feel my fingers anyway no that's not a good thing to do one sec i actually use plastic when i do this um i've got a plastic thing i use because of the it, it's not always that simple obviously now it can be tighter it can be corroded a bit whatever now There's a capacity here. For that to happen. That's it. So it's happening now. Right? And it looks like it's not going to happen. It has happened. Like I have the car when this thing happened to the my customer that I fucked it. I had quadruple checked it. Tr quintuple checked it. It was on. You know, you can pull the hoses and obviously when installing, you know, you can't have them put new O-rings on it and then have the hoses flying back and hitting the O-rings. These are things that happen, okay? Um, so, oh, I just want to go to this top one. So, as you can see, there's an orientation here, okay? So, what's going to happen is this will fall away, okay? So, you gotta bring it up onto this step position, and when you're removing it, it won't be enough. So, when removing it, I, I don't remember a time I didn't have to pull the clips out. So, it, it won't be enough to take, to get this finely, finely made surface out. This is a ceiling sort of, you know, the O-ring does the ceiling, but it, it, it gets quite tight, right? So then what happens is this falls away. You now come back going, oh, right now, it's designed that you shouldn't be able to do this because there's grooves, see? But you can, right? That's now wrong, wrong, wrong because the grooves in here are not lining up with the grooves in here. See, it's common sense, but when this is in the car, and even in a, in a good working environment, things can go wrong, right? And that's how they go wrong. That's, this is how it can go very, very wrong. Now, you don't know any better. I can already feel it's not right. You don't know any better, do you? There you go. Oh. So, it looks like, oh, you can't do that. And it, it is designed, really, that the hose will blow off straight away, but it doesn't. Now, bear in mind on the other car, and what I'm talking about, you don't need to misalign this plastic to fuck the car, okay? 
there's two ways. One was that way, and the other way is this way. So, as you can see, I have not lifted it onto its correct position. So it's now it's securely in there and it's come off. Now, what it is, is what I showed you. Okay, which I'll have to replicate here again, just to drive, drive in the, the point. One sec, I'll pause it and be back. Yeah, you know, the problem is with the pause thing, even on the Samsung, whatever, top of the line phone, if someone rings me now, I lose my pause ability, or if another app takes over. So I don't like pausing, but, okay. Now, note position of these rings. But if you fuck it up, you could see the position from from when I started the video. That's the factory position. It should pretty much be all the models. I'm not sure. It might not be on a C-Class, but generally they're, they're, they're all the, like this. And you bring this up here. You do your thing. You take your hose out, you know, carefully, right? You loosen the, the clamp there if you need to, which I, rec I recommend loosening the clamp if you're doing the job from underneath. Okay, if you're doing it from the top, it's different. Uh, now, the clip comes away. You put it back, right? And you think you've put it back. Is that on? It is on. Right. The, the original ones I've tried before, before when I disassembled is, is not as hard. Is, is harder. So, there is now... A, possibility of not securing the clip okay that's in okay they come away but that's in but it falls off but that's in okay when you're jiggling around and uh, that's it it's not on anymore so <sighs> I wonder in Germany I reckon in Germany, you put V8s and that in these cars, and I know what the Germans would do, because I'm going to, I would do it myself. Glue. Spot a super glue. Like you do on some certain gaskets that move, like an oil pump O-ring, uh, not that you put super glue on an oil pump O-ring, but you put the correct grease to hold it on, like on a Subaru when you're doing an oil pump. Because this is, this is just something so simple and I had to clean up the oil. I had to refill the vehicle there, right? Uh, obviously, to refill a Mercedes, you need the, the dipstick tool, but you don't have to, you just use your common sense. So if you're doing the radiator, catch the oil, like measure it. Like I assure you here, the quantity of oil that came out of this Mercedes Benz, of the transmission lines was like that, okay? And that's what the video is about. It's just from experience, but having them and hearing them and seeing, hearing the stories and seeing them, I've seen them on tow trucks with oil pouring out the front, okay? And this is, you know, as a mechanic, you'd hope it happened in the workshop that when you checked it, it pulled out. But this is this is pressurized oil from the transmission, okay? And it's flammable as well. Okay, that's what the video is about. Something so simple, yet... You know, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video about this radiator, you know. I'll, I'll have to put it in the title now as I'm mentioning the radiator, but it's not that I don't know how to do it. It's just that it had been done before, and regarding the bottom, the bottom, one of them, one of them was broken. So, you know, I, I guess I'll have to make a quick one about the radiator, but my recommendation is going to be to um my recommendation is going to be to print out a factory pdf uh where you can see how to release certain things 
on the radiator and my recommendation is to tie this back here like that but uh, uh, whether or not I make a video on the radiator it's just that I don't want to be liable for going into giving step-by-step -step instructions because I can't have the time to do it so here I'm not giving you step-by-step -step instructions of removing the undercarriage and whatever trace but you know I will tell you you can access and diagnose and possibly do work on the top one from above most of the Mercedes vehicles fitted with this system but for the bottom one to release that hose because it was that hose uh, that was bent slightly on the CLK in a combination with my error and bad lighting in that situation it's all very easy to light this up from here you know I've got lights going but it's very different on the car this is extremely high risk okay uh and it's not just about that clip coming off it's about the orientation of the clip and don't forget i said it was leaking from those washers okay so my duty now is to just check these are tight which we always do um we always do I don't have the tools at hand, but yeah, check those are tight, but I have had the leak from back there. So if your Mercedes is leaking in a controlled manner and, you, and from the O-rings possibly, you can diagnose it from the top if you've got a good light and you clean it up and then look at where the oil's coming from. But regardless, you're going to need the O-rings. So what happened in my story uh, and why this video was made is that the car was leaking from here, but then after I did the job, it leaked from here, okay? And it was catastrophic. Luckily, it happened when the vehicle was standing and parking. And, and these are the, the factors that went into it, always combined with light, bad light, or who can get a light up there, not, you know, like oil leaking, coolant leaking possibly all these factors combined this has got an extremely high rate of causing an accident a fire possibly if it's a v8 maybe uh you know other people to crash their cars on the oil and most importantly you know a broken down vehicle whether it's yours or if you're a mechanic it's a disgrace so yeah uh, a lot of videos I make are from knowledge and some of them and I might not always admit it are from mistakes but I, I previously the other day said we all make mistakes you know someone like me has to fix all different cars like after this CRV but when you work at Mercedes you know every single thing about a Mercedes but you know nothing else about any other car so these are specific to Mercedes but then common sense and that's why I like to mention the BMWs blow the top water hose off the bottle on the E46 on the six cylinders um, because of a very similar design. It's all very, very easy on the table and stuff, but beware. And, you know, if it doesn't look like what you want to do, don't do it because this is something that can cause accidents and injuries, loss of um, gears, damage to the transmission. You know, it's huge. Uh, this is probably one of the most important videos I've made, I think, uh, regarding um, a catastrophe uh, at your hands and on your back. So anyway, hope it helps. Good luck with all your DIYs and for you other guys out there. Thank you.